Today I'm going to attempt to attach these two Oxford heated grips, the Adventure variety, to my new XSR 900, the blue one, the 2023, and I'm going to do it, hopefully, without this dongle to control it. The goal is to wire it in such that the XSR recognizes it as native heated grips, even though these are not native at all, and just hope that kind of electricity does, it th does its thing and it just works. So fingers crossed this will succeed maybe, or possibly I'll end up do having to splice all the wires back together and, and it'll be a disaster, but we'll find out. We're gonna cut it, this is stupid. We have to reconstitute, we have to reconstitute. So I'm gonna hurt myself right now. Slightly less sharp plastic slicer. There we go, okay. So these are open. We can see we've got these in place. Let's carefully dissect it. And oh, there we go. We've discovered the guts. Now, I don't think I can take this apart. So, wire cutters. Now let's see if we can snap these off real clean. So we've got our little pigtails here. Try the 20 gauge. 20 worked, all right. So we're gonna open these up with a 20. Now, time to prepare the next patient. So we're just gonna give this business right down the middle. There we go, saving those guys. So we're gonna see if we can strip these as well. These are an even smaller gauge, but the 20 to 22 works here as well. I need a little more of a tail than that. Now, according to this image that I'm looking at, the red goes to the white striped section. Now he also said that he had to switch these wires around which I'm nervous about. And according to this it was, let's check one more time, red to the white stripe. I need longer tails. Okay, so let's feed this blue over the top of the white. And then it goes red to white, so white to, yeah, red to the white stripe. Heat gun, melty melt. Red to white stripe, red to white stripe. Okay, so at least we got some consistency even if it ends up not mattering. That is getting hot, okay. Okay, we're gonna deep pin this. Basically, you gotta reach in here and there are these little tiny, create a little bit of pressure on it. So it just wants to pull out, just a little. And then you use a pin to press down on the little hook, this little hook, and it just comes out. The hook sticks into here. So you're just pressing down on the hook and it releases the hook. Once you have the right pin, with just a little bit of pressure, you can go in here. It should be able, ah, oh, come on. Maybe I have too much pressure. And push it in, push it in. Grab it and then pull it. There we go. All right, got it out. So. Now we can repin it once we figure out what the right order of the cables is. Let's see how this works. Hopefully we can just remove the headlight.
gently. All right, so now that's gonna just, ooh, see if we can balance that there so it doesn't cause any trouble. Just to the close side of the snap is the power. To the left of the snap, is the neutral. But we're gonna start off and hopefully have them correct right out of the gate. The red with the white stripe. To the right. I'm gonna use my finger now. To work it in. Okay. Now let's see here. All right, it's recognizing it. I'm gonna turn it to all the way to 10 and see if we can get some heat. Okay, so what we discovered here, this works. You got the bike on to test it. It won't work unless the bike is on. And the correct order is to have the red, so there's, there's the, the Audi and then there's the smooth side. The smooth side lines up with the clip. So the clip's right here along the smooth side and clips around the edge of the smooth side. To the left of the smooth side is the power, is the red, and the white is, sorry, to the right of the smooth side is the red, to the left is the white. So we'll take a picture of that in a second. You gotta have the bike on to test it. Okay, let's take these things apart. We've got a 14 mil. Okay. Two. This is the left, so it goes on this way. The text faces out. This curls back toward you. All right, rotate this down.
Okay, so some notes on this. Uh, first thing to figure out, first, first thing that was tricky was unpinning the, the pins. Next thing was making sure that the power, the red, was going to the right hand side of the little, of the little clip. So each of the two, the, the, the gray and the black clips have a little, or plugs have a little clip in them. And to the right goes the power, to the left goes the, the negative. The positive to the right, the red. The, yell, the, the white negative to the left of the clip. Uh, next tricky thing, getting these off was not too bad. I used a little shop rag, like a very thin, wet shop rag. Wrapped it around and was able to peel it off from the base on both sides. Once I had the shop rag there, I got rid of the, the stickiness and the thing, uh, thing just came right off. They're sitting there inside out, the original. Um, it was not hard to take the headlight assembly apart and rewire it, piece of cake. Once I got those in there and tested it, they immediately recognized it. I was able to turn it up to 10, get some nice warm grips, uh, tell that that's working. I still don't know if I need to switch the left and the right. That's a possibility. Uh, if one ends up being hotter or colder, uh, apparently they send different amounts of power to the left and the right. Uh, next thing that was tricky is I did have to trim these off. Uh, I trimmed them a little shorter than maybe I had to. I trimmed them at the second, second line in all the way up to the grip. I think there's a middle line on, the, on this end here you could have trimmed at and it actually would have fit a little bit better, at least on the left side. On the right side, trimming it in deeper was better because I've got more clearance um, so it doesn't hang at all. Um, this, one does, this one was a really tight fit. The, the throttle was a tight fit, so I didn't glue it in or anything. You can, if you take it all the way and keep pulling, you can get it to slip a little and readjust the positioning, but it's not gonna slip on me. Um, the left one does slip, and so I tried putting some, some hairspray in there. It's probably not gonna work. I'm probably gonna have to go put some super glue or something a little stiffer in there. Not excited about gluing this in and, and getting stuck with one position. I mean, it does slip a little right now. That's not the end of times, because I mean, it's not like I'm gonna be cranking on it a lot, but. Whatever, it seems to be working. I need to go out on a ride, test it, make sure it really does heat up correctly. And yeah, that should be it. All in all, not that tough.